Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's uh, December 19th of 2019. It's 2.43 p.m. here in Fort Worth. And I just made a couple of videos. I mean, I just made a video a, a, a couple hours ago, and I mentioned that I would be making another video about... Uh, where did I put the pacemaker? Oh, I put it away because I won't need it for three months. I made a video that I, well, I made a, actually said, I said I was going to make a video about the pacemaker and whatever. And then I sat here and made a video and I had everything lined up. All eight of my videos that I made since the very beginning when I fainted and had a heart rate of 25 or whatever. I had it all lined up and I, and I showed them and didn't show them all, you know what I mean? But I uh, talked about them and then I, while I was, Showing one little, the first video, you know, of me in the ambulance, I did the pacemaker thing, and then I thought, okay, got done, I can upload this, and then I looked over, and it, for some reason, the video recording had recorded 15 seconds of that video. I am not going to do it over again. Maybe in three months, I will... Uh, do the video, but here I am with another video. In uh, Denver, Colorado, there is a radio station, an AM radio station, uh, and I don't see their call. Oh, here it is. Anyway, they operate on 710 kilocycles. And their call sign is KNUS. They are a right wing, one of the many right wing AM radio stations that uh, all day long just, uh, uh, you know, so they'll, they'll have Rush Limbo. I don't know, sure, I'm not sure how long he broadcasts. They will, they will broadcast, you know, like his three-hour show, and then I'll be followed by somebody else and somebody else, all right-wing, hate, disinformation, lies, uh, non-stop. And, well, maybe they do stop because they might be one of the AM stations that is only allowed to broadcast during the daytime. They may have to shut their, trans some AM stations have to, it depends on the frequency they're on, and their FCC license or whatever. Not that they're being censored or anything else. It's just so that at night that AM stations don't interfere with other AM stations. Been going. It's been that way since the beginning of, you know, radio. So apparently, I, I mean, I've never listened to this. AM radio station. I used to, back in the old days, I picked up uh, shortwave radio signals from around the world, AM radio stations from all over, even uh, in the early days of, well, it wasn't the early days of TV, but a little bit after the early days of TV, but picked up uh, TV signals uh, from Cuba and uh, Canada and other places that would you know, come in, and especially on Sundays, uh, you know, our TV stations didn't go on the air until noon or one o'clock because people had to go to church you know, and stuff, and TV stations shut down at midnight, you know, and stuff, so, but so I've listened to all types of, you know, there was a station not very far off from this frequency, I think it was 730, this is 710, and, but years ago, when I was, well, a long time ago, when I had hair and teeth and, uh, um, it was, uh, Radio Free Dixie broadcasting on the AM broadcast band at high power from Cuba. <laughs> and that was something to, uh, something to hear. Eventually, the U.S. government persuaded, I think, uh, 
Fidel Castro's government that, uh, okay, uh, do you really want to violate, the, there was because there was, you know, International Telecommunications Union understanding policies of ban uh, use and that type of stuff down to regional areas where there was, okay, well, nobody's going to broadcast, you know, more than 50,000 watts or whatever the, whatever the re- things. And so the United States, which had, you know, an aircraft that could fly in the air and broadcast and uh, AM, you know, well, maybe FM too, I don't know. And we had a ship and then we had land-based, uh, you know, tr- so uh, in the United States government, uh, I think, let Cuba know, hey, do you really want to broadcast this crap that you're broadcasting, you know, to the United States on that radio frequency? Because we can blanket your country and, sh- you know, and uh, Cuba decided that they would that stop doing that and not transmit with more power than they were permitted to, you know, so. But here in the United States, we've got these, and freedom of speech, of course, you know, a great, you know. But why anybody listens to this crap is just beyond me. Uh, but anyway, this is a radio station here. Uh, yesterday, I think it was, uh, this husband and wife team, they have a radio, or had a radio show there. And uh, it was called that. I feel so sorry for him. It was called the Chuck and Julie Show. And uh, anyway, Chuck, he, there's Chuck. See Chuck there? Well, Chuck and Julie, they were discussing uh, how the... Uh, impeachment hearings were going on and how unfair it was against, you know, the great, wonderful, you know, President Trump and how this was all just a communist, you know, all just a communist plot. And uh, all of this uh, is, you know, and and how they were so tight. Well, I guess especially it was... Uh, we're not too sure. I don't. I'm, I. I didn't hear. It. We're not. You know, there are recordings of it, by the way, but maybe not the rest of the show. So I'm not sure about Julie. You know, uh, there's, there's Julie. You know, oh, what a nice looking couple. I'm sure they're wonderful people. But uh, Chuck said. Uh, when they were discussing the never-ending impeachment of Donald Trump, according to audio obtained by the Colorado Times recorder, uh, Chuck said, you know, you wish for a nice school shooting to interrupt the monotony of the hearings. And that was the end of their show. They are no longer doing a radio show on a right-wing hate radio station, but I suspect that they can, uh, perhaps they can find a uh, another radio station someplace that they can uh, put on their wonderful material. Here's a story from West word.com I have no idea anything about the site but it says uh, it says uh, seven hours ago for the first for the third time in just over a month conservative radio station 710 KNUS is staring down a public relations disaster More recently, reports surfaced in which producer and podcaster Kirk Widland was accused of being a neo-Nazi. Oh, surprise, surprise. And now the outlet has canceled the afternoon. I guess I got a clip on this story here. Uh... 
Let's start over again for the third time in just over a month. Conservative radio station 710 KNUS. U.S., United States, we're number one, is staring down a public relations disaster. Last month, host Craig Silverman was yanked off the air while he happened to be speaking in support of impeaching President Donald Trump. He was subsequently banned permanently. More recently, reports surfaced in which a producer and podcaster, Kirk Whitlin, was accused of being a neo-Nazi. And now the outlet has canceled the afternoon drive, the afternoon uh, drive program helmeted by Glendale Cherry Creek Chronicle, published by uh, Chuck Bonniewell and Julie Hayden. Former said a December 17th broadcast that he wished for a nice school shooting to interrupt the proceedings. Okay. Uh, I don't know anything about the hill either. I should, because I've heard it mentioned before. I'm not sure if it's a right-wing site or uh, or a left-wing site. But uh, the radio world is going to be saddened, I'm sure, by the loss of these compassionate, concerned people who... Uh, what do you think they were doing? What do you think they were saying when Obama was in office on the radio? Uh, don't you think they were probably saying that he wasn't really an American, that uh, he was a uh, Kenyan and he would never, you know, just for I don't know how long these people have been on the air, but you know, I think they've been on the air long enough. But there's always YouTube, and uh, there's always WordPress. So, uh, let's... Let's say... Uh, Goodbye, Chuck and Julie. We're going to miss you.